march down, led by core drum major John O'Connell. filling the spaces behind the barriers. It's a huge congregation. Some the service over are now drifting away to the other events that are happening in the area, drifting away to get a glimpse of the review of the fleet, which they'll be able to see from the shore. As the bands march away, First of all, to the US Marine Corps hymn, and then the commando march, Sari Mare. of honour, the flags of the 14 nations having withdrawn. We're going to see a quite remarkable event on this arena. The leaders of 14 countries going out to meet some of their own veterans from their own country that have joined us for this occasion today. Veterans from Commonwealth countries from the Czech Republic, from Greece, from Denmark and the Netherlands, from the United States. From Britain, of course, from Norway, New Zealand, the Slovak Republic, Australia, and from... Through that cruiser that uh, you would normally see plenty of aircraft on board, they've been cleared. We're going to see just two today. The FRS-2 Harrier, not yet in service with the Navy, not yet in operational service. And there will also be a Merlin helicopter landing a little bit later on as well, also not in full service with the Navy. That's the Navy's equivalent of the EH-101. Magnificent sight of uh, masses of small craft enjoying themselves out in amongst the flotilla. We saw Illustrious coming out from the naval base during the service with the next man, the ship's company, manning ship. Illustrious, dressed overall, and surrounded by hundreds of small craft. A home berth in Portsmouth. Greeted by the flag officer Royal Yachts, Rear Admiral Rob Woodard, who is the only admiral actually commanding a ship in the Royal Navy. The Royal Standard fluttering above Britannia. And back on to Britannia. And all the Royal family will go back on board the Royal Yacht, ready to receive the other heads of state before the Royal Yacht sails, leaves Portsmouth Harbour, out into the Solent for the review of the International Flotilla.
Royal Navy Racing, but they volunteer for service on the Royal Yacht. Swinging through the view in the anteroom and the major staircase up to the aft decks. So that's where they'll all be assembling and gathering prior to sailing out into the Solent. the US Washington DC making its way along the seafront towards the war memorial the flags of the 14 countries represented will be there ready to be Embarked on landing craft to be taken out to the fleet for onward passage to the coast of France. in reality as they approach the war memorial. Expeditionary unit. Because Her Majesty is the Lord High Admiral. Britannia, of course, has a, a terrific role in helping exports overseas. She travels over 50,000 miles a year around the world, and much of that is in support of British exports overseas. There you see the Admiralty flag flying clearly at the front. And behind Patricia in dock there, we can see HMS Warrior, one of the original ironclads, permanently docked in Portsmouth now. So they will make their way out through that gap in the foreground, out into the Solent. Wonderful natural harbour. The Luxembourg, Prince John and the Grand Duchess. Prince Bernard of the Netherlands, President Lech Wałęsa from Poland. Right Honourable Jim Bolger and his wife, the Prime Minister of New Zealand. Right Honourable Paul Keating, the Prime Minister of Australia. Be interesting to be a fly on the wall hearing him talking to Her Majesty the Queen. And of course the Premier of Canada, the Right Honourable Jean Chrétien and his wife. The seafront at South is been blocked off to traffic for the last 24 hours or so. Music for the Royal Party provided by the Royal Marines. very famous naval base, the former naval dockyard, 
where HMS Victory is permanently in dry dock. Famous flagship of Admiral Lord Nelson. Still, the water is really quite still now, just a little bit of chop. 24 hours or so ago, we had uh, tremendous storms blowing through. As has already been said, very reminiscent of what it must have been like 50 years ago. Secretary of State for Foreign and Commonwealth Affairs in the background, looking over the side. The First Lady just going out of picture and President Clinton. And many distinguished guests on board, including one or two distinguished soldiers. Field Marshal the Lord Carver, and Field Marshal Sir Peter Inge, and Field Marshal Bramall, all on board as guests of Her Majesty the Queen. Mr. 